In this tutorial we're going to look at using a curve as an attractor object in Grasshopper 3D. So let's go ahead and start by creating a square grid and we can just change the size of this grid, um, the number of columns and the number of rows and actually we'll just use the same slider for both of them. You can see we have this grid now um, and so the next thing I want to do and actually let me just change the size just to make it a little bit bigger. Great. Okay, and the next thing we want to do is find the area of each of these cells. So that'll give us a center point in each of the cells. And then um, we also want to put a circle on, um, let's make a curve in Rhino and then we'll put a circle on each of the points and use the circles as what we are changing as the geometry are changing. So we'll bring this curve in, set one curve, and then we can go ahead and hide that when we're done. And then let's put circles on the um, centroids of each of these squares. So we'll do a circle CNR. Use the centroid and let's just do a slider right now for the radius. Let's go from 0.5 less than 7.00 and just make sure that that looks good. I'm going to turn off my centroids just so I can see these a little better. That looks good. Okay, great. So that's the um, um, the size of the radius we'll use. So we'll use the remap numbers again and um, we need to find the closest point of each of those centroids of the area to that curve. So there's a command called curve closest point and the points we need to search are the centroids and then the curve we need to search is this curve here. So that'll basically put a point on the curve that's closest to the centroid. So it basically shoots a perpendicular um, point from the centroid and puts it on this curve and that'll give us the distance that we want to use. So if we pull our panel out here um, we can see that the distances will be too large for us to use for the radius. So once again we'll remap numbers, we'll construct the domain um, and we'll create the new domain based on these circle radiuses. So let's say our smallest one is 0.5 and our largest one let's say is three for now, 3.72. I'll plug that in. Of course, that's the target domain. We need to find, we need to flatten always these numbers so that we can compare them to each other. And then we need to find the bounds of that domain. So these numbers here, are the smallest and the largest, and we'll use that as our source domain. Of course, our values will be the distances that we're remapping. And then we need to use these remap numbers for our radius. And you can see it then, uh, let's preview all of the, preview this off. Um, we can see it then changes the radius of those circles based on their distance from the curve. So um, since this is parametric, if I show that curve, I can always change the points of that curve location and it will update that pattern um, in real time parametrically.